Have you ever wondered how a heart transplant works? In the grand tapestry of medical marvels, heart transplantation holds a place of awe and reverence. It's not just a procedure, but a life-altering event, a testament to the boundless capabilities of modern medicine and human tenacity. Imagine the complexity of it all. It's more than just replacing a broken part of a machine. It's about taking an organ, a living, beating entity from one body and meticulously introducing it into another. The precision, the attention to detail, the synchronization, it's nothing short of a symphony conducted within the confines of an operating room. Heart transplantation, in its essence, represents a pinnacle of medical achievement, a beacon of hope for those with failing hearts. And yet, it's a process shrouded in mystery for many. But fear not, for we are about to shed some light on this fascinating subject. So buckle up, prepare to embark on a fascinating journey about heart transplantation. Heart transplantation has a rich history that dates back to the 20th century. It all started with a dream, a dream to save lives, to give a second chance to those with failing hearts. This dream became a reality in December of 1967, when Dr. Christian Barnard performed the first successful human heart transplant in Cape Town, South Africa. It was a milestone that sparked a revolution in the medical world. Over the years, the procedure has seen tremendous advancements, from the introduction of immunosuppressive drugs to prevent organ rejection, to the development of advanced surgical techniques that have significantly improved the success rate. Each step of evolution was marked by the unwavering determination of countless medical professionals. The journey of heart transplantation is not merely a tale of medical progress, it's a testament to human will and resilience. It's about the quest for extending life, for granting a new lease of life. Now, let's delve into the intricate process of a heart transplant. The journey of a heart transplant begins with a heart in need of a new home. Picture this, a heart, strong and resilient, but housed in a body that struggles to keep up. A body burdened by conditions like coronary artery disease, heart failure, or congenital heart defects. These are some of the circumstances that could necessitate a heart transplant, a medical marvel that has saved countless lives since its inception. But how does one qualify for a new heart? It's not as simple as walking into a hospital and asking for one. There's a stringent evaluation process, a meticulous assessment to determine if a patient is a suitable candidate for transplant. Firstly, doctors evaluate the patient's overall health. They need to ensure that the patient's body is strong enough to withstand not only the transplant surgery, but also the long recovery period that follows. They look at factors like age, physical condition, and the presence of other medical conditions. Then there's the psychological evaluation. Patients must demonstrate the mental and emotional resilience to handle the stress of waiting for a heart, the surgery itself, and the subsequent lifestyle changes. They must show commitment to taking prescribed medications and following a healthy lifestyle post-transplant. Let's not forget the social assessment. Yes, even the patient's social situation is considered. Support from family and friends can significantly impact the success of the transplant. Once these evaluations are complete, the patient is placed on a waiting list for a heart transplant. But this is not a first-come, first-served situation. The list is managed based on medical urgency, blood type, body size, and how long the patient has been waiting. And then, the wait begins. It could be days, weeks, or even years. It's a period of hope, anxiety, and patience, with the patient's life hanging in the balance. But when that call finally comes, when doctors announce they've found a suitable heart, it's a moment of profound relief and anticipation. Once a suitable heart has been found, the real journey begins. The heart's journey from donor to recipient is a race against time. This is a mission where every second counts, a voyage that embodies hope, life, and the marvel of modern medicine. The first step in this journey is the careful extraction of the heart from the donor's body. Surgeons, with their deft hands and years of experience, perform this delicate task with precision and respect. The heart is removed, but it is not yet ready for its new home. It needs to be preserved, to be kept in a condition as close as possible to that within a living body. This is where the marvel of modern technology steps in. The heart is placed into a specialized preservation device. The device mimics the conditions of the human body, maintaining the heart's temperature and oxygenating it, 
which is crucial for preserving its functionality. This device is not merely a container, it's a lifeline, a temporary home for the heart as it embarks on its journey. Time is of the essence. The heart must be transplanted within a narrow window of four to six hours from the time of removal. It's a ticking clock that healthcare professionals are all too familiar with. Yet, in this race against time, we are not powerless. Thanks to advancements in technology, the heart can now travel great distances. Whether by ambulance, helicopter, or airplane, the heart is swiftly transported, often crossing state lines to reach the waiting recipient. But it's not just about speed. Careful coordination is also key to ensure the heart arrives safely. Every handoff, every step of the journey is meticulously planned and executed. Teams of dedicated professionals work in tandem, their actions a symphony of precision and care, all with one goal in mind, to give the heart a new home. And so the heart, once beating in one chest, now prepared and preserved, completes its journey. It has traveled through time and space, carried by the hands of many, all to give life a second chance. The heart is now ready for its new home. While the heart makes its journey, the recipient is prepared for the transplant. At this stage, the recipient's preparation is vital. It's not just about being physically ready, but also the mental readiness plays a crucial role. It's a moment of anticipation and hope, but also of anxiety and fear. The medical team's role here is to ensure that the recipient is in the best possible condition for the upcoming procedure. The preparation begins with the confirmation of the heart match. Once the match is confirmed, the recipient is immediately notified and asked to come to the hospital. Time is of the essence in this phase. The recipient is then given a thorough medical examination to ensure that they are healthy enough to undergo the surgery. This includes tests to check lung function, kidney function, and overall health. The role of the medical team is crucial at this point. They are the ones who will ensure that the recipient is ready for the transplant. This involves both physical and psychological preparation. The doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals are all part of this team, working together to ensure the recipient's safety and success. The physical preparations can include a range of procedures, like inserting IV lines for delivering medications and fluids, or placing a catheter for monitoring blood pressure. The recipient might also receive special medications to prepare their body for the new heart. On the psychological side, the medical team provides reassurance and support. They explain the procedure, what to expect, and how to manage post-operative care. This is a time of many questions and concerns for the recipient, and the medical team is there to provide answers and comfort. The recipient's family also plays a significant role in this preparation phase. Their support is invaluable, providing emotional strength and encouragement. The journey to a new heart is a shared one after all. It's a complex process, but each step is crucial, each detail important. And as every minute passes, the heart draws closer. With the recipient ready and the heart on its way, it's time for the transplant. The heart transplant is a remarkable feat of surgical precision. Our journey has brought us to this pivotal moment where the waiting ends and the transplant begins. The procedure might seem complex, but let's break it down into manageable pieces. First, the surgical team prepares the recipient's body for the new heart. This involves carefully opening the chest and connecting the patient to a heart-lung bypass machine. This machine takes over the roles of the heart and lungs, pumping blood and oxygen throughout the body while the heart is being replaced. As the old heart is carefully removed, the new heart, preserved and ready, is brought into the operating room. It's a moment of anticipation, a pause before the new chapter begins. The new heart is then meticulously connected to the major blood vessels, the aorta, pulmonary arteries, and veins. This is a task of utmost precision, where every stitch counts. The surgeons ensure that every connection is secure, that every blood vessel aligns perfectly with the new heart. Once the connections are made, the moment of truth arrives. The new heart is gradually warmed, and the blood flow is slowly reintroduced. It's a delicate process, a dance between life and science. And then, in a moment that can only be described as magical, the new heart begins to beat. This is followed by a period of careful monitoring to ensure that the new heart is functioning properly. 
The body in turn, begins its process of accepting this new organ. It's a testament to the resilience of the human body, the ability to adapt and accept. The surgical team watches, their faces a mix of relief and satisfaction. They've been part of something extraordinary, something that changes lives. With the new heart beating strongly, the journey of the heart transplant comes to a successful end. The rhythm of a new life begins, the beat goes on, a testament to the miracle of medical science and the incredible journey of heart transplantation.